channel so I figured I'd do a little something different today maybe a little so yeah, let's get right into it so this is my 2017 Volkswagen GTI SE non-performance pack um, it has been an amazing car for the past three years of ownership it's been a great car reliable it's been fun and I've had fun modifying it and really pushing the paces as in seeing what can all be done to a 204 cylinder that's in these yeah, I mean, they're a great car. If you're looking to get one, definitely drive one. Figure out what exactly you want. And for me, what I was looking for in this car, I was looking for something I could put down on the track. I've definitely been able to do that, and there's so much more things that um, I would like to do. I mean, I've done a couple autocross events, and I've found out like certain things that I've needed and certain things that I've wanted. I mean, going into suspension, coilovers, uh, sway bars, and things like that. There's so many different little things that you can do to make your car feel better, drive better, and perform better. And on that, of the whole drivability of the car, they're great handling platforms. They're great, nimble, quick cars. I mean, they're not the fastest. They're a 204 cylinder, but... I think, honestly, they're quite underrated. I mean, a lot of people have these cars, which sucks, but there's so many different things you can do to them, which you can easily make your car your own, depending on if you're into track setup, if you're into show car, like you want to put this thing on bags, like whatever, the, the possibilities are endless, to say the least. I mean, this thing's so fun. You drop her down in sport mode, with a, with a dual clutch transmission, it's endless. This is it. And like I said, I've had this thing for about three years. It's been through its courses, been through two winters, and it's done well. It's gotten a couple of scratches, a couple of bruises, but all around, it's still a solid car. The paint is pretty good. Paint's held up. It looks good. Shine, you still have to take care of it. Into it. I'll pop the hood and tell you what's done to it. <laughs> so this is my EQT Stage 2 on 93 GTI. I've been through, I've gone through MAP Performance and EQT and I'm sticking with EQT for a tuner. Um, they've done great work. I'm on my third revision on 93 
and thing is perfect. It's at a point where the stock turbo and fueling is not enough to support any more power. So yeah, stay tuned for that because there's some good goodies coming on in the near future. So as you can see, things pretty clean. I have an integrated engineering cold air intake, um, a full catless downpipe, and that's really about it. Other than a diverter valve, um, RS7 plugs and coils, and that is completely it. I have done maintenance on it. Um, obviously, oil changes every 3,000 miles. Um, I've cleaned the intake manifold, and that's really about it. I haven't really done much. I got a front mount intercooler which definitely keeps the car a little bit cooler aesthetically I have a front lip on a broken bumper <laughs> I have some Advan Apexes 235 40 18s on some Teehees <laughs> they're great wheels um, super light great tires they perform pretty well in the summer I have a full 3 inch uh, cat back exhaust rear diffuser uh, Maxton rear uh, hatch spoiler whatever you would want to call it and that's really about it i mean it's aesthetically pleasing i would say i mean it looks good for what i want um i would love to lower this thing and do a couple more things in the near future but right now it works good and i have fun with what i got so yeah if, i mean if you guys are in the market and looking for one of these cars i guess the only few tips that i have find one that hasn't been beat on like this one if you are looking for one, find one stock. Don't don't buy don't buy a Mark 7 that's already had parts and tuned and whatnot, because you never know how that car was treated. And I mean, really think about the different packages that are out there. If you want to have the uh, Autobahn package with the leather interior, or if you want to have the performance pack with the upgraded lighting or the brakes or the transmission. There's all different things that you can look for, but do your research and figure out which one fits you the best. And other than that, I mean, if you get a chance to drive one, do it, take it up, do it, have fun. But yeah, let me know if you guys want more content with this thing. I'm always down to film, always down to make some more videos. Just shoot in the comments what you guys would like to see. And if I keep doing any more aftermarket support mods on this, I definitely will be making some videos on it. But yeah, just let me know. And I hope you guys have a good one. Keep it real. Chief out of flight, nigga, can't even see me on way out of here. I'm too far in the sky. Heard me as ash from the dark, my ass.